In today's video, I'll compare the Leica CL versus the Leica SL. Full disclosure, I've owned the Leica SL for almost a year and I've been using the CL for perhaps three plus years. In brief, the Leica CL is a nice small setup giving you autofocus and something smaller than an M camera. If however you want to use autofocus lenses and perhaps you want a, a bigger brighter viewfinder and maybe a few more professional features if you want to call it that you might prefer the Leica SL. The Leica CL is APS-C crop sensor whereas the SL is full frame. Stay with me and I'll give you all the details. Hello welcome Matt here from MrLeica.com so today I'm covering two of my favorite cameras the Leica CL and the Leica SL. To give you some context as to how good these cameras are I used to use a Leica M240 as my main camera for all my weddings, portraits, everything, all my photography. I then decided that I needed a second body as a backup camera, a second Leica body. So I bought the Leica CL as my backup camera, not expecting to be anything special and just to have a, a small backup to keep in my bag for emergencies. A lot of my shoots are overseas, so I needed something compact, but also great quality to give clients nice pictures. What I didn't expect is the Leica CL then became my main camera from then on for about the next two and a half years, two and a half to three years, and I stopped using the M240 almost completely. And so that's how good the Leica CL is, even coming from full frame professional Leica M cameras. The main difference, obviously, like M cameras, the rangefinder cameras, the Leica CL is a small mirrorless camera. Or that the Leica SL. So I was quite happily using my Leica CL and then I thought, hmm, I wonder if it would be quite nice to try the Leica SL. So I bought the Leica SL and strange thing happened. I've completely stopped using the Leica CL. The viewfinder on the Leica SL just makes everything so rewarding. If any of you have ever used a Hasselblad or perhaps the Mamiya RZ and Mamiya RZ, have you want to say it, big medium format cameras, when you're looking through the viewfinder and the world just looks amazing, that's a little bit what it looks like when looking through the Leica SL camera. If you're a Lumix guy, it's probably like looking through a Lumix S1R. So that's the background around these two cameras. And in this video, I'll answer the question, which is the right camera for you if you're looking for an alternative to a Leica M camera or perhaps your first digital Leica camera. The reason the Leica CL and the Leica SL are very attractive is they are some of the cheapest Leica digital cameras you can buy. Yes, you can get an old Leica M8, amazing image quality, very filmic. Uh, see the video I've done on it. I did own a Leica M8, but for me, it's not fast enough for modern day photography. You could get a Leica M9, amazing colors, but again, maybe not the best camera for modern day photography if you need to shoot, say, client work, as I say, weddings or portraits or whatever your type of photography is. That then gives you two options for a cheaper Leica digital camera, like a CL and like a SL. There's also the Leica Q, but that tends to be more expensive than both the CL and the SL. So looking at only the CL and the SL, what are the main similarities and differences? Both cameras are Leica 24 megapixel mirrorless cameras and both the CL and SL are Leica L mount, so part of the L mount alliance. So that means you can use lenses from Leica, Sigma and Lumix, modern lenses, uh, autofocus lenses, and neither camera offer you IBIS, uh, image stabilization. The biggest difference between the two mirrorless cameras is the CL is APS-C, 1.5 times crop, whereas the SL is full frame. If I now cover the pros and cons of each camera, if we look at the Leica CL first, pro number one, the size. The size of this camera is tiny. It's roughly the same size as the old Leica 3 Barnack cameras in digital terms. So it's the smallest digital Leica camera that gives you the option of interchangeable lenses. And if you then pair the camera with a small lens, this gives you a really small setup. Number two, the weight. The weight of the little Leica CL is under half the weight of the Leica SL. The Leica CL weighs 403 grams or 14 ounces, whereas the SL weighs 847 grams or 30 ounces. If you're like an M shooter, the M camera comes somewhere in between. M240 weighs 680 grams and the M10 weighs 660 grams, which is about 23 ounces. So if you think like M cameras are small and lightweight, you ain't seen nothing till you've picked up a Leica CL. Number three, the Leica CL is APS-C. You might think that's a negative and you're like, why is that a positive? It can be a positive depending on the type of photography that you do. If you want more reach with your camera, then having a crop center camera gives you more reach with every lens. So a 50mm lens on the Leica CL becomes a 75mm, a 35mm lens becomes roughly 50mm. And the second benefit of a crop sensor is you're only using the center portion of every lens. That means if you're using perhaps vintage lenses, they tend to have a lot of soft fall off at the edges, but you only use the middle bit, which is actually the sharp bit. You can get decent sharp results from a vintage lens, a vintage fast lens, 
if you're using the center portion of the lens and you won't get any vignetting because the vignetting is the fall off at the edge of the lens but because you're using the center of the lens you're not going to see the darkening of the corners which is great if you don't like vignetting if we now look at the Leica SL the biggest pro for me is the amazing viewfinder if you watch my Leica SL versus Lumix's 5 video you would have seen me talk about the viewfinder in that video but to recap the Leica SL gives you a 0.8 magnification and 4.4 million megapixel resolution compared to the Leica CL which is only 0.74 magnification and 2.36 megapixels. Based on my last video the Leica CL is a much more enjoyable shooting experience than the Lumix S5. The viewfinder is much better and it's much faster to critically focus all your images if you're shooting with manual focus lenses which is how I use the camera most of the time. Benefit number two the Leica SL compared to the CL the Leica SL is full frame so it's more similar to all your M cameras. The benefit of that is twofold. The main one is depth of field and bokeh. If you love shallow depth of field shots, say portraits for my, for my own examples, you're going to prefer full frame to crop sensor. That being said, when I was using the CL, I strangely didn't notice the lack of shallow depth of field compared to the M240. So it's interesting what your eyes get used to. You might not notice a difference, but, but you do get more bokeh from an SL than you will the CO. The second advantage of a full frame sensor is you're using the full image circle of your lenses. That means if we take the vintage lens example again, yes, it's great to crop the center bit out if you want clean, sharp images, but what if you want artistic looking photos? There's a strong argument that you want to shoot full frame to make use of the fall off and the softening of the edges from these old lenses in particular. Even some modern lenses are obviously soft with the lenses shot to wide open. You can have vignetting at the edges, which makes you focus on the brighter center portion of the image. And then you can have softening at the edges and sharpness in the center. Again, amazing setup for portraits, right? Because you want to have sharp eyes, for example, and then everything else just going nice and soft in the background. If you like portraits and want to learn more about portraits, definitely check out my learning platform, Patreon, where I teach mostly about model photography and lighting. And then the third benefit of full frame is if you're using a 50mm lens on a full frame camera, 50mm equals 50mm. If you want to shoot wider focal lengths, you will definitely be better off with a full frame camera versus a crop sensor camera. The problem I had with the Leica CL is I had to use 35mm lenses to give me an equivalent of 50mm with the crop factor. The best lens I've ever used on the Leica CL is the Voigtlander Nocturne 35mm 1.2 version 3. The fall off the shallow depth of field if you use the lens at 0.5 meters because it, by getting a little bit closer you're going to get a little bit more shallow depth of field and kind of bokeh look. There's lots and lots of really amazing 50mm lenses and I wanted to shoot them as 50mm lenses not 75mm lenses so that's why I think swayed back to the full frame SL versus the using the CL. So those are my pros for both camera. It's worth noting if you compare a Leica to say non Leica both the CL and SL have fixed LCDs so there's no flip screen options and both cameras are beautifully designed with minimal menu styles and very simple menus to use uh, both really enjoyable cameras. So which one is right for you? Why would you potentially want to get these cameras compared to like an M camera? Number one both of these cameras are L mount which means you can adapt lenses very very easily and you can pretty much adapt every lens because they're EVF cameras what you see is what you get, exposure, depth of field, composition, and everything's just much easier than using a rangefinder camera. Number two, both cameras, as I say, give you the option of autofocus. So if you're missing your shots with like an M camera, or perhaps you're not getting on with the, the rangefinder focusing, and say for example, you bought an M camera because you wanted the, the M camera look or the prestige, and then you found that you're only using the EVF on the top of the camera because you find it easier to focus, definitely consider a EVF camera being the CL or the SL series cameras. These cameras have that built in and it's much faster, clearer to see, better resolution and much, much less lag. The lag of the M240 EVF that I use is really slow. It's um, not fast enough for fast paced model photography or wedding photography. If you live like a glass, if you buy the CL being a crop sensor camera, you can use the like a TL lenses as they're called, which are lenses which fit cameras like the TL2 and the CL. These are very small autofocus, very sharp lenses. And one of the sharpest I've used is the 35 1.4 TL. And the smallest is the 18mm F2.8 Elmrit TL. Amazing lens that will give you the smallest possible setup. 
see my Lucky Q mini video if you want to learn more about that. If you buy the Leica SL, you can benefit from using the Leica SL lenses, which are obviously pretty much as good as it comes, I think, on paper in terms of the best image quality from any Leica lens. But if you want something cheaper, you can also benefit from using lenses by Sigma and Lumix. Sigma make the DC DN lenses for the CL and crop center cameras and the DG DN lenses for the full frame cameras such as like a SL. Personally, I love using adapters and then adapting like M lenses to both cameras to enjoy the manual focus experience, but also have the really clear view in the viewfinder with the EVFs. And so in summary, which camera could be the best option for you? If you shoot street photography, maybe stick with like an M camera because I think that's still probably the best option for street. If you want a small travel camera with the option of autofocus lenses, definitely consider the Leica CL and 18mm TL lens in particular. And if you prefer portraits, fashion, and even like telephoto lens stuff, the Leica SL is amazing. The Leica SL has got the big grip, so having a long lens on that camera just feels a bit more comfortable, like using maybe an old DSLR camera. Whereas the Leica CL is much better suited to use very small lenses or the lightweight, more plasticky TL lenses because there's not much to hold on to unless you attach an extra grip. And I'm pretty sure you'll love either of them. It just depends on which lenses you use as which will suit your workflow the best. How do the files compare from both the Leica CL and the Leica SL? So yesterday I did a shoot with Zara and I shot both the Leica CL and the Leica SL. I shot standard JPEG format in both cameras with fixed daylight white balance wide open aperture of f2 and the correct exposure for the lighting and I used a vintage like a scimitar 5 centimeter f2 like a screw mount lens as you can see in these two photos the colors are reasonably similar but I think the colors on the Leica SL are actually nicer than the Leica CL if we zoom in on a couple of the photos you can see the saturation in the skin it looks a bit warmer maybe a bit more pink from the Leica SL camera and the blues in the in this in like the denim looks a bit more green compared to blue and neutral in the the Leica CL. The Leica CL colors almost look more like, dare I say it, Panasonic colors, whereas the Leica SL maybe looks a bit more like Leica M colors. As you can also see, there's slightly different bokeh because the Leica SL gives a greater shallow depth of field. In terms of prices, you can pick up the Leica SL used for roughly £1,500 and the Leica CL for again, roughly £1,500. So I would 100% recommend the Leica SL as a professional camera, and I would recommend the Leica CL as a, if you need a small camera. It can still be professional photos, but the SL just feels more of a professional tank camera for, for me personally. Well, the example photos shared in this video was shot in RAW, and then I just applied my Mr. Leica preset. If you want access to my Adobe Lightroom Mr. Leica preset packs, I'll put a link in the description below. So click that and you can see all the different presets for all the different Leica cameras. I'll put a link in the description below for the winner of this month's monthly giveaway. So check the description to see if you've won and I'll also list all the other winners. And with that, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Thanks as always to my amazing patrons and see you in the next video. Bye.